Shalom Israel. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, the honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the like men doing this work in truth and sincerity. Um, you know, just going off the spirit, you know, of death and destruction is coming to this place, man. Death and destruction is coming to this place, man. It's getting closer and closer, man. All right, here it is, you know, over there. And, um, it's like it has some of my eye. Here it is over there in, uh, Brazil. You know, they having a purge. You know, the, uh, the police, I believe they went on strike. Um, over there in Venezuela, it's no food. You know what I'm saying? They eating out of garbage cans, eating zoo animals. Over there in Mexico, it's anarchy. You know, so death and destruction is coming to this place, man. And when you read the scriptures, when you read the scriptures, those who didn't fear the Lord, those who, who didn't have the name, or those who, who didn't um put the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, who didn't proclaim the name, all right, felt of that death and destruction, man. All right. All right. It's kind of like, you know, you know, basically like we die, you know, spiritually, because we didn't fear the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Like the scriptures say in Baruch, um, it says that uh, in the land of, in the land of their captivity, they shall remember my name, man. So the Most High basically brought us slow, you know what I'm saying, so that we could remember His name. All right, and countless times in the scriptures, the Most High, um, you know what I'm saying, dealt with those who didn't fear His name, man. Um, this is First Maccabees chapter seven. Verse 31, Nicanor also, when he saw that his counsel was discovered, went out to fight against Judas besides Kafar Salama, where there was slain of Nicanor's side above 5,000 men, and the rest fled into the city of David. After this went Nicanor up to Mount Sion, and there came out of the sanctuary certain of the priests and certain of the elders of the people to salute him peaceably and to shew him the burnt sacrifice that was offered for the king. But he mocked them and laughed at them and abused them shamefully and spake proudly. All right, so here it is. You know, you got another adversary coming up against Israel. This is First Maccabees, so let me see. Yeah, man. You know, here it is. You got a, another adversary coming up against um, Israel. In which, you know, this guy basically made light of the name of the Lord. Of his, uh, let's see. Nicanor also, this is verse 31. Also, when he saw that his counsel was discovered, went out to fight against Judas besides Kaphos Salama. Where they were slain of Nicanor's side about 5,000 men, and the rest fled into the city of David. So here it is, this dude had pride, man. This dude had pride, man, because, you know, he went out to fight against, um, um, you know, Israel, and at this time he won. But this is verse 33, and this went Nicanor up to Mount Sion, and there came out of the sanctuary certain of the priests and certain of the elders of the people to salute him peacefully. And eschew him the burnt sacrifice that was offered for the king. But he mocked them and laughed at them and abused them shamefully and spake proudly. Alright, and that sounds like Nate, man. You know what I'm saying? Mocking mocking the beautiful, um, mocking the doctrine of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Mocking uh, his beautiful name, man. But he mocked them and laughed at them and abused them shamefully and spake proudly. You know what I'm saying? Like Nate, you know, calling us bums, um, you know, the bummer lights, you know what I'm saying? Saying that you call the Lord, you'll play yogurt, you know what I'm saying? Other other dudes, man, calling us snow dummies and, and all that nonsense. Verse 34, but he mocked them and laughed at them and abused them shamefully and spake proudly and swear in his wrath, saying, unless Judas and his host be now delivered into my hands, 
if I ever come again in safety, I will burn up this house. And with that, he went out in great rage. Then the priest entered in and stood before the altar in the temple, weeping and saying, Thou, O Lord, didst choose this house to be called by thy name and to obey a house of prayer and petition for thy people. All right. And we know through the spirit that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Chai chose us, man, the men of great millstone, and even men that follow us, man, truth and sincerity, that he chose us to be a house, man. You know what I'm saying? At that holy sanctuary. This verse 38. Be avenged of this man and his, and, his house, and his host. Let them fall by the sword. All right, so this is thou, O Lord, that has choose this house to be called by thy name and to be a house of prayer and petition for thy people. Be avenged of this man and his host and let them fall by the sword. Remember their blasphemies and suffer them not to continue any longer. So Nicanor went out of Jerusalem and pitched his tent in Bethlehem, where an host out of Syria met him. But Judas pitched pitch in Adasa with three thousand men and there he prayed saying O Lord when they when they that were sent from the king of the Syrians blaspheme blaspheme thine angel went out and smote an hundred and four score and five thousand of of them. Alright, so this is the history, you know, when other people blaspheme, you know what I'm saying, against Israel. Even so destroy thou this host before us this day. That the rest may know that he has spoken blasph blasphemously against thy sanctuary and judge thou him according to his wickedness. So the thirteenth day of the month Adar, the host joined battle, but Nicanor's host was discomfited and he himself was first slain in the battle. You know, so that's a that's a cut on dudes that, you know what I'm saying, that don't hold the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh in great reverence, man. The Most High, you know what I'm saying, had Judas and his men killed Nicanor first, man. Because he blasphemed the name of the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? That's a heavy offense, man. You know? Like I said, you know, when the death and destruction and Esau comes down, you know what I'm saying? The Most High is not going to allow him to spare, you know, no man that's not in the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Which we know is the elect, man. All right? And, you know what I'm saying, we don't know, we of the elect, but them dudes that's coming up against the most high, we know they definitely ain't of the elect, man. You know what I'm saying? Especially, you know, speaking proudfully, you know what I'm saying, the most high is going to uh, is gonna visit you for that. Alright? Now let's get another example in the, pre in the scriptures, man. You know, like I said, you know, the most high is bringing death and destruction to this place, man. Why? Because they didn't fear his name, man. They don't fear his name, man. All right, as the scripture is written, man, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. All right, the Most High bringing this place down, man, because they don't fear his name. This is Exodus uh, chapter 9, verse, uh, let me see, I'm going to start at 22, and uh, let me see, Um, let me see. I'm just trying to find my point. Actually, I'm going to start at 11. And the magicians could not stand before Moses because of the boils. For the boil was upon the magicians and upon all the Egyptians. All right. And just as a side note, we know this place is called uh, spiritually Sodom and Egypt. You know what I'm saying? Which the most high in, um... Egypt, the most high, you know, saying put boys on the people, you know, that's that's you know what I'm saying, you put that towards the plagues that's coming to this place. You know what I'm saying? He uh he basically uh killed off all the cattle, you know what I'm saying, that was in the field of this place, you know what I'm saying, going towards the famine or the food. So it says uh Exodus nine and eleven and the magician and the magicians could not stand before Moses because of the boils. For the boil was upon the magicians and upon all the Egyptians. And the Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh, and he hearkened not unto them, as the Lord has spoken unto Moses. Alright, just like Nicanor, you know what I'm saying? 
when the Lord, you know, spoke to uh, Nick Nor, you know what I'm saying, through his through his priest, he 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 uh he hardened his own heart. <clears throat> or rather the Lord hardened his heart, and the Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh, and he hearkened not unto them, as the Lord hath spoken unto Moses. And the Lord said unto Moses, Rise up early in the morning and stand before Pharaoh, and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord God of the Hebrews, Let my people go, that they may serve me. For I will at this time send all the plagues upon thy heart, and upon thy servants, and upon thy people, that thou mayest know that there is none like me in all the earth. Alright, so basically, you know, um, pr further proving the point of how the Most High sends plagues, alright, upon a place or upon a person, so that what? So that he can further, uh, he can further exalt his name, man. So that the Most High can further exalt his name, man. You know, here it is. You got this dude, Nate. You know what I'm saying? The Most High sent plagues on his heart, man. But what? Hardening it. You know, by not taking heed, all right, to the counsels or the the re the reproof or the rebuke of the Lord, man. Here it is. The apostles been rebuking him. You know what I'm saying? For years, man. For years, man. But yet, you know, he, he, he still is not budging, man. You know, as the scriptures as it is also written that um pride go before destruction. You know, and here it is, you know, this guy, you know what I'm saying, he has many followers, man. Which is ironic, you know what I'm saying? Because so when the most high basically when the most high brings him down, so that what others may fear, man. As it is written also in First Timothy's, um Um how's it go? See first Timothy's First Timothy's five and twenty. Then that sin rebuke before all that others also may fear. Alright? And he's he's, you know what I'm saying, creating a grave uh sin, not serving Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai. Alright? So this is back at Exodus nine and fourteen, for I will at this time send all my plagues. Upon thy heart, and upon thy servants, and upon thy people, that thou mayest know that there is none like me in all the earth. For now I will stretch out my hand, that I may smite thee and thy people with pestilence, and thou shalt be cut off from the earth. And in very deed for this cause have I, see, have I raised thee up for to shew in thee my power. And that my name may be declared through all the earth. All right, so let me see. As yet, exalt thou thyself against my people, that thou will not let them go. All right, so that's basically the point, man. The Most High, you know what I'm saying? Raise this guy up, harden his heart. You know what I'm saying? So that he can show forth his power, man. You know what I'm saying? Therefore, you had the pestilences and the plagues. You know what I'm saying? He even had Moses, um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he even uh, allowed Moses to rain down um, hail and thunder upon the cattle, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Like the apostle uh, Ramla had bought out, which I was watching his uh, live stream early. He, he's basically bringing out how the Most High, you know what I'm saying, put so many plagues on that place so that what? In a, through a process of time, what his name could be magnified throughout all the, 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 the earth, man. Throughout all the earth, man. You know? Even when you get into the priest when you get into the scriptures, all, all the um other nations they knew about, you know what I'm saying, the most high splitting the Red Sea and swallowing up Pharaoh for us, man. Alright, so the most high is all about, you know, bringing death, destruction, man, if you're not following his name, man. If you're not if you're not exalting the most high's name, you're not you're not uh you know what I'm saying, you're not doing your uh, your job, man. You're not doing your job. That's our job, man. It's to exalt his name. Alright? This is Psalms 91, man. He that delivereth, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, is the first verse, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence, which we hoping for, you know, when the most high, uh, you know what I'm saying, bring this place down like Egypt as far as, you know, different pestilences, 
uh, boils, you know, boils the uh, different pestilences that the Most High is gonna bring on this place, man. All right, not for the dead, brought not for the dead bodies bringing pestilences. All right, it's, it could be you know from the the um, you know what I'm saying uh, the the foods that that we are uh, forced to eat in this place. All right, anything, man. The, um, the chemtrails. You know what I'm saying? Anything, man. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings thou shalt trust. His troops shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in the darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and... And ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. <laughs> and this shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in the hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample on their feet. This is a point, verse 14, because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. Alright, so because we have known the Most High's name, all the destruction that's come into this place will not touch us, man. Will not touch us, man. That's why we pray to be of the hopeful elect, man. Because we know that only the elect, all right, is going to get saved, man. Because, all right, they had that they, they had that mark of exemption, man. You know what I'm saying? They had they knew the name of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, man. <coughs> Slaki, they knew the name of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, man. All right. Verse, I'm going to read again, because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. So, if anybody's telling you, you know what I'm saying, that the name don't matter, man, you got to get away from that dude, man. All right, because when death and destruction comes to that man, it's going to come to you too, if you believe it. If you believe that the Most High's name don't matter, man. All right. All right, this is Isaiah uh, uh, 43. And, um, shoot, forgot my point. I mean, I forgot my, um, preset. Isaiah 43 and 21, This people have I formed for myself. They shall shew forth my praise. So, you know, just driving it home, man. Our job is to, you know what I'm saying, praise Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Our job is continually praise Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. That's that's the only reason why we was put on this earth, man. You know, Ecclesi um, Ecclesiastes 12 and now uh, I believe it's 13. Uh, this, this is the conclusion of the whole matter. You know what I'm saying? Fear the Most High and keep His commandments. All right, which is commandments is what? To not have uh, no other gods before him, man. Which means that uh, what? He's the only God, man, that we should be serving. You know, so uh, with that, uh, pray, brothers, edify. Remember, man, the Most High's name, man, is going to bring you through the hell that's coming to this place. All right, so his name is very, very, very detrimental to your salvation, man. You know, um, you know what I'm saying? So with that, uh, Shalom.